Hello, welcome back to Blender Switch Live Learning. In this episode, I want to share this geometry node setup that I created the other day, basically using uh, the simulation uh, nodes. Um, so it's still kind of experimental with the simulation node, but uh, this is an example that I saw on Twitter uh, the other day, I, I just made a slight modifications. So what's going on here, it's, uh, it's almost like a, like a trail of lines that keeps growing uh, and it's just gonna keep going until my blender or my memory uh, until this computer memory uh, ran out but I think the, the effect is really cool it's looking really cool like uh, it's just like a noise that's pushing line and then the line itself will be resampled over time and it's gonna keep generating points um, yeah so the, the effects looking quite nice I have an older setup actually uh, I will try to explain the setup this is as simple as it could um, originally so before I explain the one with simulations originally I have this guy over here you, you need to understand this one first so it's like a this is just like a stroke so if I draw something like that no a, a single curve becoming multiple curve and the setup inside geometry nodes is like this let me break this down so that's a curve objects coming in into coming in into geometry nodes so this is the input and because they could be like a multiple separate curve I separate the geometry first and that's becoming the instance for this random points okay there's a random points scattered so we, we end up with this like a, like a cables because it's instancing this number of curve uh, the radius doesn't matter so this is the randomizations and then what's happening next I realize is the instance and then resemble the curve so after we resample, we use a, we created an, some kind of ID, like randomly generate ID for each spline. And then, uh, and then what's happening next, we are using set position and resample the curve once again. So this is using noise. So in a way, this is almost like a, like a ginseng. If you know that uh, kind of like a root of a plant that's kind of although it's really really simple version so noise coming in and the noise is randomized slightly because each each spline will get a different noise texture coming in into this W attribute and and then we do another resample okay this is important the set spline this is to make to make this line it's kind of like smooth otherwise it's just jagged set spline type to bezier and then set the handle type into auto and then at the end it's just trying to turn it into mesh using curve to mesh object uh, nodes with a, <coughs> with a bit of control over the spline using the you know the beginning to the end of the spline we can control how how fat we want to have the curve okay so the end can be really spiky this one is not animated no simulations going on however this is still pretty cool okay the other one slightly more interesting but it has similar setup except for one part this part so there remember we have two resample the first one actually in this case uh so let me explain we started with random points remember we we can specify maybe five so if we start again we only f have five curve and it's keep growing and growing okay becoming really complex a little bit like Akira effects so the points is uh, 
okay we instance a simple curve line on this bunch of points and we can resample the curve at the beginning we can actually have really small value doesn't matter it's gonna grow anyway so after we instance it we realize the instances and then once again we in this case we just resample it into a two two points so the curve will have just two points and then we create this random value for each spline we call it spline id and then here we are using simulations input and output okay inside the simulations <clears throat> what's happening here it's a or well, the line um, we are basically using noise to push one of the points so the points one point stays where it is at the at the beginning the second point will travel with noise while it's traveling it keeps resembling inside the simulation nodes and it keeps generating points right and then keep resembling and then the noise just keep travel kind of pushing the one point of the line and it's creating this effect it's like crazy scribbles um yeah so that's basically what's happening the what else i think what else did i is there like a selections um you could if in one example i think we we could specify which end points we want to make it traveling with time you know like yeah in this case okay it's becoming very clear if we only select one end one will keep traveling in time kind of generating like a, like a root like a ginseng root if we specify 20 as you can see we can uh, now have like 20 root generating 50 okay maybe not too much so if we have both and kind of selected then it's gonna grow in both end and yeah we have that effect so suddenly it's very clear what's going on right otherwise if we don't have any selection it's just gonna grow in all directions I think this is pretty cool as well it's almost like uh, you you open up a Pandora box and we end up with this madness it's like a tentacles and stuff but it's, yeah it's very basic curve I believe you can actually render this out <clears throat> using cycles without generating the mesh um, without using the curve to mesh nodes and it will still render as a curve currently it's generating uh, it's using different shader for its spline random value between uh, green and purple I believe so yeah this is the end result <clears throat> this is as simple as it could be um, I think it's a it's a very clear example uh, I know I, I borrow it from somewhere someone posted on Twitter and then okay that's how you do it and then make a slight modification until I understand oh okay I understand up to this point so I just try to break it down and try to rebuild this, the setup be careful when you're doing simulation input and output it might crash blender it's better you get rid of the simulation input and output build the setup and then you add the nodes and then put some nodes inside it so it's less crashy or just build it uh, let's say you don't have the simulation first and then you just build the node without the simulations and then you before you can connect anything you build thing inside the loop and then you connect the input and the output so it's gonna work okay so to summarize this it's basically yeah bunch of curve like this like a plant only to ha have two points and then once you play back each of the points will kind of expand and generate it's being pushed by the noise that's happening inside the loop here so the noise you see 
we are using the spline ID this is the random number that we generated on the fly and we push we use this inside the W so it's each one have different noise and then yeah, it's just gonna push it we can actually push it up a little bit you know like making it shooting up in in terms of okay maybe not too much just a little bit of value so it will have like a more it's gonna be shooting up instead of just random yeah that's something like that so it's like shooting up and then the noise will push it all random into random position so yeah hopefully this one is easy so and once you understand this and try to re rebuild this yourself you will understand the whole process uh, to create this all right so thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye